Hello, this is Erica Napaos, and I have the CD-ROM Blu-ray drive that I purchased some time back. And I actually went from having a computer with the CD-ROM drive slot, well, to one without it. Because right now I'm using NR200, and it has no CD-ROM slot. So I can sit this on my desk with wires hanging on my computer, which is stupid. Finding an enclosure that works properly sometimes seems to be a task, especially one of decent quality that won't fall apart. Well, I did find one, and most people don't seem to have reviews of these things. And the one I found is from StarTech. So this is the drive enclosure. That's what it looks like. Nice, simple, nothing fancy. Let's get started. So this particular drive caddy enclosure is USB 3.0, how do we know? Well, this blue right here, this is the cable that's included with it, and that's telling me it's 3.0 standard. If you have an older standard, it's not gonna run nicely. It's, it might not even run at all. They have a 2.0 enclosure, but honestly, run the fastest one. It has more power throughput, more speed, and it's the way to go nowadays. Your laptop, if you have a laptop, it might not run as fast because a lot of laptops have a lower power slot, USB slot. It comes with this cable here. And this cable I think is about 18 inches or so. Uh, actually maybe it's two feet or so, but anyways, it's non proprietary so you can buy longer cables. So you simply connect it into the slot. That little groove down here goes in the groove down here, slides in, done. Connect to your computer. So normally you'd have to buy one of these if you want to transfer it from a laptop to desktop if you don't want to get enclosure. So what would the point of an enclosure be? Well, the point would be to make it so you don't need these extra cables inside your computer, because I actually had this, I had this drive in a computer that actually was a desktop, and well, I have an NR200 and there's no CD-ROM slot. So now I need an external. And that's gonna happen to a lot of people, because almost all the modern cases, especially the mini ITX, the smaller cases, don't have CD-ROM drives. It's very rare nowadays. So if you want to use this or you find a laptop and it has a CD-ROM drive, you can actually transfer to a desktop. Nice idea rather than throwing it out or wondering what the hell do I do with this. There is something you can do with it. That's where you put it in the closure. The closed drive caddy right here. Let's see if you can see inside. So if we can look inside here, we should be able to see that uh, connection that goes to your serial uh, ATA. Slide the back of this serial side into that serial side. And just like that. So if you don't even use the screws, you can see this holds pretty darn decent. The screws are just extra security if you don't want it to ever fall, fall out, which means of course you're gonna have to open this case to get out, which I find is pretty much the case you have to do anyways to get this out because it sticks. Well, at least in my case, it sticks nice and well. This is a 12, I believe 12.7 millimeter. There's actually smaller CD-ROM drives are more slender. But now how do we get inside? Well, we take the two screws back here at the back and we take them out. So that's the starting point. So take those two out. Need a very fine head screwdriver, very fine tip. Now, once we have the two screws out, you'll see this personally flips up here. There's a little tab at the top and push that down. Whoop. So I push that out now and it slides right out. So normally this back ends right here and it just slides right out of the tray and it's now in the body that's inside here. So inside what we have is this part that connects that port, serial ATA port, that connects it and connects it to, uh, transfers it to USB, universal serial bus. So serial ATA to serial, universal serial that is bus. So normally the small screws that are included will go in here and here and here and here. You'll need a very fine head screwdriver, but you can see that it sticks quite well without it. Yeah, the one that holds your CD-ROM to the case that goes inside the CD-ROM drive to connect it to the casing and the regular computer case screws. Hugely small. Trying to find a screwdriver and uh, not lose your screw, that's a bit of a pain. So now I'm gonna try to take this out. And see it again, better view. I have to push with a decent amount of force, but it kind of almost ejects out when you push it. 
because it sticks so good. So here's the original CD-ROM drive, and here's the caddy that was holding it. Nothing too special, the only circuit board's right here that does all the work. And this shell is nothing more than a metal shell. And right here you normally have your miniaturized serial ATA. So this is normally for a laptop size, not a desktop size. So to make this work on desktop, you need a special cable if you didn't have this enclosure. Normally you'll need a serial power connection. As you can see, this says serial ATA, and that's gonna be your power from your power supply. And this is gonna be to your computer motherboard. And of course, you're gonna fit your notch in. Normally, if this is if you didn't have this. And then of course, this big side is your cables from your desktop to your laptop size. So now when reassembling, your back end, your sticker, there's gonna be a back end, this is your back end here. And you want this flat, okay, let's see, um, this little notch right here, facing down, or this notch on top right here is gonna be your top end. So your top end is gonna be where the label is. I'm gonna slide it through, and it's just gonna be loose here. Next, you gotta match this little nibby thing on top here to this little hole. So you need to put that there first, so it slides in. I'd recommend pushing against the body as you put it together because it's gonna slide out. Nothing's really holding this. Now I can show you, I'm screwing it in the one side and now the next side. Okay, so right now it's connected to serial ATA. I'm gonna be playing with Corel Win DVD 12 Pro and I see how long this Blu-ray play movie, uh, movie takes to play and hear how loud the CD-ROM drive is. Right now it's actually purring along, but I'm gonna wait for that sound to stop here. Good. Now I'm gonna press play and press start on the timer at the exact same time. One, two, three. Fifty one seconds. Wow. Now to see if connecting with USB makes any difference whatsoever, because I haven't tried that test yet. After a bit of time, a lot longer than it was for connected as if it was internally in the computer. It finally slowed down and it's now sat. So now I can time the computer with the software and see about time how long it takes to start up again. Okay, one, two, three. and it was actually one second faster. We'll consider it a draw because honestly that difference in speed of one second, it's honestly just leave, leave it to chance because it's so close. So does connecting USB slow it down any? No, not really. And now here's a direct sound by sound comparison 
of the drive without the enclosure and with enclosure. So I'm going to play the first few seconds without, then with, without, and with. Just to show the differences in how loud the volume is coming from the drive being in this enclosure versus not being in an enclosure at all. If you're looking for enclosure, well, this is one I can recommend. It's up to you if you want to get one or not, but it's useful, it works, it's solid, and well, you can decide for yourself. Thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. And for those that wondered, yes, I use this. This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware. if you didn't have this enclosure. Okay, so you normally need a serial power connection. That's gonna be from your computer. That's gonna be this little side here. And you can see it says serial. Normally you'll need a, normally you'll need a serial power connection. And make sure, of course, that you're uh, Specialized. Ooh. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to Not Bios. I'm so thankful and happy to see we're over 500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider it and help this channel. If you want to see more construction type stuff, look at my channel, Not Bios Studio. I'll have links below in the description and always look for links below in the description of my videos. Thank you again and have yourselves a most wonderful day.